Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I'm going to be doing a head and a face shave today. I'm going to get stuck pretty much straight in, but I want to highlight one thing that I noticed today, sort of through accident, because I have two soaps sat next to each other in my drawers, and one of them is Summer Fig from Ariane Evans, which is what I'll be using today. The other one is King of Oud from Holy Cow. Now, Summer Fig. It's a very cologne almost floral, with a slight sweetness. That's what I get from it. I can't pick fig or anything else, but I get that from it. There's a, almost a woody sort of note to it. It's sweet. It's almost gourmand, which obviously with the fig, it smells quite gourmand. King of Oud from Holy Cow. If, if you give me both of these silks with a blindfold, unlabeled, in the exact same tub, and they were the same colour, I would think they were the same silk. This, uh, this one is just ever so slightly maybe stronger, but the scent, just from the tubs, is almost identical. And it begs the question as to what am I smelling, summer fig or king of oud? Now, this smells more gourmandy, sort of cologne, fruity, sort of that sort of caramel sweetness. So does this. So, for me, summer fig smells more like what it would smell like. Obviously, a cologne type, sweet gourmand sort of thing going on. This smells almost identical. Now, I know. I'm pretty sure this came out first, King of Oud. But I'm not joking that they're so close, it's not funny. If you've got Ariana and Evan's Summer Fig, I mean, these might change a little bit when you open them up a bit with some water, but just straight out the tub, if you put them, if you labelled them up the exact same, if that, these were both labelled Holy Cow or Ariana and Evan's Summer Fig, I would think they were the same soap. So just from smelling out the tubs. It's just, a, just something I noticed, and it sort of highlights the fact that, to me, that doesn't smell like oud. It smells like a sweet gourmand, sort of caramelly, woodsy sort of scent, but it's not, but I, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm sure someone will have something to say down below. That was just something that I noticed when I smelled it, it reminded me so much of King of Oud and I picked the both of them up and smelled them. If I put them right next to each other. I mean, there's a, a very slight difference in King of Oud, but it's not enough for me to turn around and say that they smell completely different. They're, they're so similar, it's, not, it's almost like a clone of each other. They've both tried to clone each other and they've gotten very close. That's what it smells like. Just something I figured out, something that I can smell with my shitty nose. Right, head shave first. For you guys that don't want to watch the head shave, I will pop up now when the face shave starts. But Ariana and Evans, Summer Fig, there is the ingredients list right there. If you want to pause the video and have a look. And I'm using, once again, for the whole of November, will be the Simog Honours Club Taj resin. And it's a beautiful, beautiful brush. The handle is lovely. 24mm premium serda, premium bristle, premium bore. It is a pristine white knot. There are no dodgy hairs in here, black hairs, brown hairs, anything. They're all pure blonde. And we're just going to go straight into the Ariana Nevins Summer Fig. Now, if you're new to bow hair brushes, one thing I've learned from using this brush every day for the last, or every shave for the last sort of over 10 days now, I think it's been about 13 days, 14 days I've been using this brush, is that it prefers to be, come on, been drop F off. It prefers to be quite wet when you start the laddering process, when you actually start the loading process into the brush. What it allows is it allows the soap to travel right down into the base of the knot. So you can see on this side, it's a little bit higher, but you can see how it's making its way to the base of the knot. 
Now what I figured out is that with bow hair brushes especially, from using this brush mainly, is that if you don't load the brush so that the soap goes right down through the knot, when you finally add your water and start making your lather, what happens is when you start adding the moisture and the, the lather starts making its way through the knot, so you're actually, all the soap that you've got on the tips, on the top of your brush, start making their way through the knot. And that is, for me, what creates that, what people say when your brush eats the lather. So if you can get your lather to make its way, or your load, to make its way down the knot, right through as close to the base of the knot as you can, obviously there's a little patch there, but the rest of it is right pretty much to the base. I'm almost guaranteeing that you'll be able to get three pass lather out of it. Now, obviously this is for a head shave, I will be cleaning the brush out and then re-lathering again. So I don't quite obviously need this much lather because I'm going to be using a cartridge razor and I don't quite need the amount of lather that I'm going to create right now. But it will give you, in my opinion, it will give you a much better chance of creating three passes of lovely lather from one load and it will save you the headache of returning to the puck of soap over and over and over again. If you get the load right straight away, if you watch The Stallion on YouTube, I don't watch him anymore. Uh, I, I, I don't agree with the guy's attitude. So rather than be confrontational, just don't worry about it. But he's got a massive point about load it like you hear it. That's the same when it comes to loading the soap to the airbrush. Doesn't matter what brush it is, whether it's synthetic, boar, badger, horse hair, any type bristle. Oh, that's the first hair I've lost from this brush. And will that focus on that hair? Yeah, pretty much. 4K, it's amazing. First one I've lost in quite a while. In fact, I think it's the first one I've lost in probably 10 uses. Now I've had a few people also say about dipping the tips in the water, they prefer to see that. Either way, dripping it and dipping it in the water, it doesn't bother me too much. So I'll go back to the way I used to do it, the way that I sort of taught myself to do it, which is getting a brush and dipping it in the water. Now as you can see, this lather builds up really, really nice. It's very glossy, the scent strength is amazing. It's really filling up the bathroom and it's quite a nice sweet gourmand sort of dark caramel cologne type scent. Beautiful. Right, so the razor I'm going to be using, I've used it now three, no twice. This is the third time I've used it. I've done two head shaves and two face shaves with it, and it's this. Now this is a cheap Coles razor from a supermarket over here. It's very cheaply made. It's a five blade razor, as you can see, five blade cartridge. And it's actually, it doesn't look like there's much gap for rinsing, but there actually is. Excuse me, the water actually hits and goes through all these little holes. And you can't see it from the back, but you can probably see the little you can see the holes sort of through the back there. So it works really well. It's very smooth, it's very comfortable. It gives me a quick head shave. So I'm going to get stuck straight in against the grain because I shaved yesterday. Now, I was going to yesterday use my carve razor, but I had a bit of a mental health day. It wasn't in the best of spaces. So I whipped out this razor for my head and my face shave before work. And I had another really good shave. What I will say is I did end up on my face shave at least, not on my head shave, head shave was spot on, no issues whatsoever with the head shave. With the face shave, as you can see, looks pretty good. There's no real major issues or anything like that. But I did have a little bit of, I don't know how to describe it, I'm gonna call it spotting. So it's basically where 
around this area here, I've still got a few little bits that I can feel where I almost get like little whiteheads, little spots, little, little, little pussy spots, which basically to get rid of them, all I do is I just scratch my nail along, obviously wash my hands first or desanitize them with a sanitizing gel or something. And then I just basically scratch them off and it's fine, that's it done. But I had quite a bit of it yesterday and it was quite noticeably sort of painful. Now that was the second time I'd used the razor over two days and it sort of highlighted something for me with cartridge razors that I do remember. And it is, if you use them quite a lot, if you use them every day, your skin will let you know. And I do find that, that's what I found in it. And that was with two days growth. I found that it was just too much for my skin. Now with DE razors, like the carb, which I'll be using today on this video, because it's a single blade, I'll be using the B plate, so it's a nice mild plate, but it's quite efficient. I know that with the right pressure, the right products, I'm not going to get as much irritation, if really any irritation. I'm going to get some, but nothing really noticeable. One thing I don't really get, don't generally get with double-edged razors, especially the car, is any of that white spotting that I get from cartridge razors if I use them like I have done two days in a row, but twice in the space of two days. And I just want to highlight this razor cleans out crystal clean every time. It's got quite a good blade gap between the blades and I'm using cold water, so that's a big thing. Cold water generally doesn't melt the soap as easily because of the oils and fats. So the fact that it's just rinsing out is a big, big bonus for me with this razor as well, with this cartridge in particular. So yeah, so like I was saying with the DE razor, I can shave with a DE razor every day and count a very little irritation, get wonderful shaves. However, because I don't go against the grain, ever, really, I go across the grain, probably diagonally across the grain, and quite a lot of my neck and uh, quite a lot of my face and under my chin, I get a damn fine shave, which is a, a shave which looks really close, but doesn't quite feel any, well, it doesn't feel anywhere near BBS, which is, we use it, guys that don't know, baby butt smooth, super smooth, like glass, like that. There's no hair, but it's just silky smooth, you don't feel anything. So I never get a shave like that on my face. Never. Now, one thing I will say with this cartridge razor, and probably every cartridge razor, is that for one-off shaves, and one guy mentioned it, and I, I apologise, I can't remember who it was. Sean? Is it Sean? Scott? Maybe Scott. Sean or Scott, can't remember. He mentioned it in the video. These cartridges, for me, and as he's highlighted as well, are an awesome tool for people that can't get BBS or extremely close for like maybe in job interviews, nights out with the wife, special occasions, weddings, things like that. Because I know with that cartridge, and you can disagree with me every day of the week, but I know from personal experience in using it, I've been using a double-edged razor now for two years. I've probably used a cartridge three times, twice a year, and I've used a Mac 3 once, I think. And I've used a couple of single-edged cartridge razors, like the Gillette Guard, which don't really count as cartridge razors in my opinion. I'm just going to lather up just on the back here. With a cartridge razor, I can get a closer shave. It's hands down closer. It feels better. I get less irritation on that one shave, that one once and only shave. I've had no ingrown hairs whatsoever. I've used it twice and I haven't had any ingrown hairs yet that I can see or feel. I've just had them little white spots and that's it. So what I'm saying is, uh, cartridges don't excite me. I don't get any real, if I'm honest, any real super enjoyment from using one. But what I do get enjoyment out of is the feeling on the face shave of pretty much the closest thing I can get to a BBS head shave, a BBS face shave. Head shaves are different. I can get BBS with a DE razor 
cartridge, you name it. I can get a BBS head shave with it. Obviously not straights and things, because that's not my sort of jam. I'm not very good with them. I've never used a straight razor anyway, but she bets. So, they certainly have their place for me. So, I've decided now that I'm going to have a cartridge razor in the den at all times. What cartridge razor it is, I don't know. This, for me, so far, has really surprised me. $6.50 for the razor with two cartridges. This is the third head shave it's done. It's also done two face shaves. And it still feels wonderfully smooth and comfortable. And I think I get a pretty quick head shave from it. Obviously, I've done a lot of talking in this video, so it's not as quick as you guys out there that just pull out a razor and have a head shave and don't have to talk to the camera or explain stuff or anything like that. Now, of course, I can just pick up my cartridge razor and say nothing on the camera. Have a shave, walk out the door. It'll probably take me five minutes. I personally think with this razor, I could probably shave my head, BBS, in three to five minutes. And that's, I'm talking complete BBS like I'm going for now, without all the talking and bullshit. Cartridges for me, personally, shave the head better than a DE razor. There's no thought process involved. And I quite like that. DE shaving for me is quite therapeutic. But on my head shaves, I don't find it quite as therapeutic as I do on my face. I, I, don't, I can't create as good a ladder on my head. And just overall, it just seems to be a little bit longer, a little bit more time consuming. And not tedious, but getting to that point. So, I mean, that's, I've got a BBS head shape here now. And it feels great. There's no irritation really that I can feel. There will be a little bit. There always is. But nothing that's going to affect me within half an hour. It'll all be gone. I'm obviously using a very high quality splash today as well. Just leave that there. I'm just going to rinse my head off. Now when I started this journey two years ago, June 2016, I didn't have really any intention to, to be where I am now and be looking at products and actually having a real good insight into how things work and, and how soaps are and slickness, residual slickness, BBS, damn finish, all this stuff. I wasn't expecting to be where I am now. But one thing I've always prided myself on with this channel is honesty and being upfront about it. These cartridge razors are pretty damn good at what they do. I don't get any real irritation from head or face other than the little white spots. I get a closer shave with it. It's quicker. It's definitely quicker. And as much as I'm putting five blades on my skin, I don't get any more irritation than I do with a DE razor. Because it's the, the way they're built is to stop the razors actually chewing into your face and being so on your face, if you know what I mean, on your actual skin. They're great shavers. Anyone that says they're not, I would have to say you're talking shit. You know, it's, it, I don't know, they're expensive cartridges, that's the main thing. It's cost, but to be fair, I've spent probably between five and ten thousand dollars in just over two years on white shaving. That, that would buy me cartridges for the rest of my life. So, is it cheaper? It's not, no. It is if you buy one razor, one packet of blades, one soap, one splash, one brush, and you stick to that. But it's a hobby. It's, it becomes a part of your life, it becomes a, an enjoyable part of your life, including the people in it. So, do cartridge shav shavers deserve to be in the shaving den, in my den? Most certainly. Do they deserve to be in everyone's den? I have to say yes, because I think they offer something unique to wet shaving. They offer you a quick shave, which is very close and very comfortable. You just need to find the one that works for you. Thankfully, the cheap one from Coles for $6.50. I think it's five dollars fifty for four cartridges. You can't grumble at that. And I'm five shaves in, two, three full head shaves and two face shaves, and it's still super smooth. The aloe vera strip on the top, which I don't know how well these work, but 
it, it's absolutely, there's loads of it left. It's not wearing down quickly. It's got a little trimming tool on the back. It's a good shaving tool and it works very well. So it's a thumbs up for me for cartridge shavers so far based on this one. I also use another two for my head shaves as well. So cartridge razors work and they work very well. And they do give you, in my opinion, a better shave than a double edge razor. They just don't hold the enjoyment factor. Anyway, enough talking about the cartridge razor. Let's get stuck in to the face shave. So I'm gonna fill the sink back up. Like I say, you will now be here watching this part. If you want to track back a little bit, I do do quite an extensive talk on cartridge razors and my thoughts and views on them. I'm not going to talk about them anymore. I'm going to concentrate now on the car and the rest of the machine. So if you want to really see my insight and viewpoint on cartridge razors, especially this one, then head back into the channel. Probably maybe five, ten minutes, <laughs> because I don't know how long I was talking for. Probably too long. Anyway, soap, as you've seen from the start, is the Ariana and Evans. So I'm a fig, and the brush is once again the Samog Owners Club Taj Resin 24mm Blonde Bore Brush. So straight into the soap, which has still got a little bit of residual load on there. And I'll just reload the brush. This is just mainly, I'm doing this, I wouldn't normally do this, I'm just doing this, washing the brush out and reloading it again, just to aid in the breaking in process really, so that it's getting the full use every time I use it, rather than reusing the brush with a load in it. And I get through a little bit more soap as well. So I am looking forward to this shave. Get back into the car razor again, which I'm going to start using pretty much mainly again at the tips. I haven't used the carb now for quite a few days. I've used the that cartridge razor for my last two head and face shaves and I've had wonderful shaves with it. And like I say, if you want to find out about my thoughts and feelings on cartridge razors, just scroll back a little bit. I may do a video, a separate video, and just give my thoughts based on the different razors and types that I've used since I started traditional wet shaving, just to give a bit more insight into my thought process and where I came from and where I am now. So the brush is well loaded there. Wipe the face and I'm going to scoop out all the... And look how thick, dense and creamy that is already. That's just from the tub. It's a really high quality soap. I'm trying to think what this... I can't remember if this is duck fat. Duck fat? Oh, it's goat's milk. Goat's milk. I remember there was something about it similar to what the sort of trend was at the time. I think this trend came from pretty much Holy Cow, which is in fact. So this is goat's milk, Holy Cow's donkey milk. I mean that that's this is really an awesome performing soap. Tastes nice. <laughs> it actually tastes exactly how it smells, believe it or not, but it's not that sort of taste. It smells like a cologne. So eating a cologne isn't going to be a very nice experience. Very, very heavy load in the brush today, which is good. You can see how pasty that is. Let's start dipping the tips. Start painting some water in.
really overloaded this brush. Now let's splay it out. I have to say the face feel from this brush now that I've used it exclusively for sort of 15 to 20 shades is absolutely beautiful. There's just a, a enough scrub to feel it. There's absolutely zero uh, negative feel to it. There's no scrub, scratch or scritch or anything like that. It's obviously scrub, sorry. There's no scritchiness or scratchiness to this mold. It's quite a dense knot. It just feels luxurious. And as you're about to see it, it creates a lather that rivals pretty much any brush. I could still create a bit of synthetic lather with a synthetic brush. But in terms of natural hair brushes, it's really starting to excel. And the whole process of going through this breaking the bore in has been really nice to actually experience it and do it the right way rather than soak it in cold water in the fridge and, or stick it in the freezer as some people do or scrub it on other things to try and break the tips and split them Now you'll see a few little layer bubbles here and there in this, but overall, look at that. It's it's a stunning ladder. You can see there, look. Wow. Just just beautiful soap. Scent's lovely, it's a good scent strength. Right. Finally, the car Christopher Bradley razor once again. I've missed it, if I'm honest. And I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. This is the twelfth use on a Gillette Super Stainless, the spoiler blade, vintage blade, 12th use. And I may even bin it after this one, even if it's a good shave. Start using fresh blades again, and here we go, straight into it. Very slick soap. A lot depends on how good the shave is with it. I mean, if it's so smooth that it'd be silly to throw it in the bin, then I might keep it going. I can also, because I've used the cartridge razor twice now, I can really feel what the learning curve would have been like again, coming from cartridge to this type of shaving. So you have to persevere with it. There's so much more. I'm not going to say skill. There's just more involved with this type of shaving. But I will say straight away, I can feel right away, there's way more hair left over from that one pass than there was from a cartridge razor. Obviously the five blades, the way it works, the, the style of the razor with the cartridge on it, works differently. So you are going to get different results.
And the other thing I'm noticing with using the bow brushing, the first sort of five or six shaves, I didn't have that slickness with the soap. It seems to take some of the property away from the soap when you use a new bow. It doesn't do that anymore. That's extremely slick. I don't even have to test it. I'm just, you can take my word for it. It's super, super residually slick. It does look a little bit airy on my face, but I can assure you it feels really heavy and dense. Even though it does look airy. I can see it myself in the mirror, it looks different. So it's definitely, with the cartridge razor, you get much quicker reduction in the beard. Because ultimately, with that one cartridge pull, you're sort of doing this. One, two, three, four, five. With one pull. Five blades. That's sort of what you're doing with that one full stroke. But, with the DE, you get a much more sort of gradual progressive beard reduction which is quite satisfying to be honest and that's part of the reason why I really enjoy it as much as the car gives me amazing shaves and it does it gives me an amazing shave and I enjoy using it I love the look of it I love the feel of it the shave it gives it it doesn't give me any real irritation I, a cartridge razor gives me a better shave it does it's a better shave for me not for everyone and there'll be people out there that will probably the mind will trick them into thinking that it's not I was one of them really to be honest in the beginning because I, I just hated cartridge razors. I came from a place where I hated shaving and cartridge razors was how I shaved and that was part of the hate. So now that I've got an appreciation for shaving, and the art of traditional wet shaving. It opens your eyes to actually how good a cartridge razor is. Gillette are also releasing a new one, a new two blade cartridge razor. So Gillette are also, I don't think it's so much to do with the
the traditional wet shaving as in what we do and what we promote and what we love but they've also realised there's people out there that are nearly complaining that they've got all these five blade caps and they're getting irritation so they're bringing out a razor called the skin guard which will basically be a two blade razor it looks to have quite a large blade gap between the blades and it's built for people with sensitive skin so I can't wait to try one and just see how it feels If there's one thing I've always liked about Gillette the blades are generally pretty good Like here, I've got a weeper here, I've got, I think that's just a couple of red little marks. But the cartridge razor definitely, I couldn't use it every day. No way. Can I use a cartridge every day? Not a five blade cartridge anyway. Not that one there, no way. It would just be far too much for my skin. Even with the two day break, it was still really, it was too much for my skin to take. So it's still not a, for me, a viable option for people that have to shave every day. But certainly the new one they're bringing out, the Gillette Skin Guard, looks to be a lot less sort of Blady, really, it's got two blades, there's a lot, lot more gap between the blades. It's built for people with sensitive skin so they don't get so much irritation. So they're looking at it, they're, they're trying to find a way without going back to the traditional ways or making the traditional ways more modern. And I think personally, if they get the blades right, if the blades are sharp and they last long enough, I think they'll be on to a winner. And I'd like to think that given that the two blade cartridges, that they're going to be a little bit cheaper than say your fusion cartridges but we all know with Gillette whenever they come out with a new idea everyone jumps on the bandwagon everyone really likes it and the prices skyrocket so that's the hope that that doesn't happen and I'm hoping it does come out at a very reasonable price I'm just going to pop some of this on the post shave for Diana and Evans is lovely but I am going to finish off with some Moil Grooming Wild Flowers which matches the scent quite well it's sort of florally cologne free splashes for the coconut which has got zero irritation nothing, no burn at all nothing just BBS I can't even feel any here and then three one two three splashes for the face and neck and once again literally nothing a little bit sort of on here nothing on my neck no burn on my neck at all today which is good I've got a little bit of red blotches here and there little spots which I can only attribute to a cartridge razor at the moment because prior to using the cartridge razor I didn't have them and after the first shave with the cartridge razor I didn't have them but having used it yesterday again I seem to have developed a few little red spots which could be ingrown hairs, very possible I do have one here that I had from a few weeks back but I wonder what that was then <laughs> Overall, a great shave I'm really close but it's not as close as the cartridge really close, damn fine shave Comfortable, smooth, efficient, beautiful. So the soap today was Summer Fig from Ariana and Evans, Peter Charcalis over in the States. Lovely scent, 
lovely performing silt. I don't react to it, which is a big bonus for me straight away. The head shave was conducted with the uh, Coles Home Brand, which is made by another company. I can't remember what they said, but there's another company that makes these razors and they're branded for Coles. And it's a five blade cartridge. Head shave works spot on. Really, really smooth, really comfortable. Fist shave on that as well, which is excellent. The brush for both ladders head and face was the Simog Owners Club Taj with the 24mm premium bow and the tips on this feel absolutely like velvet now, they're beautiful and when it dries out you can see all the split ends and stuff like that but it's just a stunning note, absolutely stunning, absolutely love it. Oh, I just love, one thing I love about natural hair brushes, you've got to take the, cru take the cruelty out of it. They, they just hold the sense of your soaps and they smell amazing after time, they just sort of absorb. A bit like using a wok over and over again and just cleaning it out but leaving all the burnt taste in the wok. It adds flavour to your, to, your, to your food. This works in a similar sort of way, you get a little whiff of other things through your scent, it's just beautiful. The razor for the face shave was the car Christopher Bradley razor with the B plate, which is 0.73 blade gap, something like that. With the four and a half inch, sorry, the four inch Argyle handle, which there's only four of these in the world, but I absolutely love this razor and like I say, I, I've had a, an awesome shave with it today. 12th use Gillette spoiler blade, vintage blade, which I'll probably chuck now even though that was still very very smooth and comfortable. I finished off today with Moyle Grooming Wild Flowers. So overall, spot on, two shaves and a little bit of insight into my thoughts and processes now with cartridges, double edged razors, things like that. Cartridges definitely deserve to be in your day in my opinion. Have one. You just never know when you need that shave to be boof as fast as you can and you just need one and it works better than any other technique I've used. I haven't used a straight razor yet but everything else I've used it works better than that. Just my opinion. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Like and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.